Hey everybody, Lines on Paper here, and uh, there's a lot of, man, there's a lot of scuttle online uh, this morning and last night uh, about Gina Carano and uh, being being asked to leave The Mandalorian, and you know, on this channel we talk about comics, but we also talk about movies and, and pretty much anything that's sci-fi pop culture, so I kind of wanted to touch on this a bit today and put out my thoughts, and... One of the things I'm noticing, I've been reading a lot of the coverage, I've been watching a lot of the reaction, and a lot of what I'm seeing, there's a lot of a lot of anger, a lot of tempers, and I totally understand that, and I think that's completely appropriate, but there are a few things that we need to look at and seriously discuss with calmer heads, so that if there is a lesson or something to be taken out of this, uh, we make sure that this is it something that just happens and is forgotten that this is something that happens and resonates and, and leaves a mark and, and, a, and ch make some ch actual change. Uh, I don't see enough people canceling their, their Disney plus subscriptions to really make Disney hurt over this. I mean, I, I wish it would happen. I wish that enough people, enough of the fans would, would come out and vote with their wallets and tell Disney what they think. And I, I do encourage people to do that. Um, I'm definitely pushing for that in my house. Uh, I've got a family to convince to do it uh, before I can. Uh, but really what we need to focus on here is uh I'm not going to repeat the tweet. What was out there is out there. You can find it if you really want. But what I am going to say is that while what she said was could be construed or I shouldn't say could be construed. It, it was it was an inappropriate comparison and not inappropriate in the way that people that are calling for her head are saying it was inappropriate in the sense that it just wasn't an apt comparison. Um you know what she compared her experience as a conservative Republican in Hollywood to that of another group that was subjugated in the last century. And uh, their struggles could far, far outweigh anything that we we currently are going through via vis-a-vis -vis our political beliefs, whether you're a conservative or liberal and you think that's unfair. Um, we know nothing of the struggle that that oppressed group had felt so i just want to get that out of the way right now that i don't agree with that sentiment but i do want to say that i understand where it comes from and i do believe that that it comes out of a place of sheer frustration because one thing that is very true is that 2021 is definitely the year of hypocrisy and the year of double standards and the rules are not being applied evenly. And it is not right that somebody can have a political belief that is perfectly, perfectly legal is perfectly mainstream, regardless of what others may think of it. Um, it is perfectly legal and perfectly acceptable to have the views that she does. And the fact that she cannot express those while other people that feel just as passionately with other views can is not right. And I, we need to understand that we need to see that. And if one thing comes out of this, that's one of the, th one thing, one of the things that needs to come out of it. But the other thing that needs to come out is we need to look at this situation, what Gina Carano did, and understand that when she, and this is just the reality of the world, whether I agree with it or not, when she or someone has the types of political leanings that she does, in this case conservative, you need to understand the microscope that you are under. You need to understand the people that are out there that are wanting to tear you down simply because you believe one way is right and another way is wrong. And it's unfair and it's unjust and it's not the way the world should work, but it is the way the world works. You know, we, we don't live in should. We live in the way it works. And the sad, sad truth is that she should have known better than to post something that could have been that inflammatory, knowing how closely she was being watched and how many people were just waiting to pounce on the first misstep that she made. And that's a hard standard to hold anybody to. I mean, if you think about it, to have to live under this constant, this constant guard in your mind that you need to 
choose every word carefully before you put it out there for people to hear because just the slightest misstep can end her career. Do I think she should have been fired for what she said? I do not. Do I think that her her agent who represented her all these years should have dropped her over this? I certainly do not. I don't think this was something worth somebody's entire career over. Um, I, I think it's unjust. I think the punishment is far exceeding that of the crime. Uh, if people have a problem with it, I don't think the sentiment here was a sentiment of racism or bigotry. I think it was a sentiment of frustration and trying to prove a point and show how she feels using a pretty universal example of when tactics similar to these, although far, far more dangerous, more evil and more devious, but still nonetheless, the tactics of, of segregating somebody because of a belief, um, she was trying to illustrate the effects that they could have on people. And it wasn't the most eloquent way of doing it. And it wasn't the most advisable way of doing it, but um, it's still what she was doing. And, you know, one thing that is seriously lacking in our society today is just the ability to forgive somebody for making a statement that maybe was an error statement or maybe just something you don't like to hear or whatever it may be. We need to find in this age of cancel culture, we definitely need to start paving that road back for people. And whether that is... Uh, another just group of pop culture or another form of pop culture emerges um, other movie studios outlets where these people can go and, and start forming their own production companies. But at the same time, is that really what we want? Do we want to be split that way? I don't, I mean, I know I apologize. I'm, I'm kind of just talking as I think, which usually isn't how I like to do these videos, but uh, I'm just reacting to this. Like all of us are like you are, um, I just, I heard the news when I woke up, I wanted to talk about it. I kind of let the emotion of it flow through, you know, flow over me, let it go. And then I looked at the situation and the situation tells me that, yes, it's, it's hypocrisy. It really is. There's a double standard out there. There are so many double standards that so many of us are living with right now. And it's hard. It's hard to live in a world where, we watch the rules not apply to some, and we watch those rules apply harshly to others. Um, Gina Carano, in this case, she, in her position, should have known that double standard was there and should have known that eventually, if she didn't carefully guard every word that she put out there, that this was the type of result. And that's what we all need to learn. That's the lesson that especially if you are somebody who considers themselves conservatives, considers themselves Republican, anything like anything of that nature, or even if you consider yourself, you know, certain vestiges of, of leftism or, or liberalism, you need to understand that there is those double standards out there. When you put these words out there, they're, they're going to have consequences. And those consequences may not be fair and they may not be just, and they may not be appropriate, but that's what's happening right now. And until we as a society abandon this, this kind of madness that has taken over this, this tweet, Twitter, cancel culture, double standard of if somebody says something that hurts my feelings then I need to destroy their lives until we abandon that, that's just the world we live in and we we have to accept it and we have to know it and we have to know about it. And if seeing something like this happen is what it takes for us to learn that lesson, then at least something good will come out of something terrible, stupid and and senseless. So um, that's going to be it for me for now. Um, I really hope that everybody has a good day going forward. Have a good weekend. I will put out another video, um, do something a little bit lighter. Let's talk about a comic book or a, a movie trailer or something. I'll find something a little bit light, a bit lighter, lighter fare for us to digest for the rest of the day. But um, just think about it as you're going through. Really think about rather than how angry you are, what can I take from this? What lesson can we learn that can be applied to my life and the way that I'm going to interact with others and the way I'm going to express my thoughts going forward. Cause that's what I'm doing. And, um, you know, let's just try to, to be nice to each other and let's try to, at least if the world's going to be dark and hypocritical, let's try to be the opposite of that. And if 
it sounds campy, but if just every single person decides to do better, then that's the only way this world's really going to be fixed. It really, really is. So I hate to go all It's a Wonderful Life on us, but that's just the truth of the matter. It's what I believe. So uh, have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon with uh, something a little funner. Have a great one. Bye.